Well, across the region, term limits have been quite a point to talk about. And now to Rwanda, where Parliament has this afternoon endorsed President Paul Kagame's bid for a third term in office. The legislators endorsed a petition signed by nearly 4 million people calling for a change of the constitution. <laughs> For months on end, they collected signatures across the towns and villages of Rwanda, ending up with these boxes of destiny, carrying some 3.7 million signatures, asking President Kagame to carry on. And now the country's parliament has given a nod to the 57-year-old president to go ahead and run again in 2017. But there is one more step that many analysts see as a mere formality, a national referendum to endorse Parliament's decision. Critics within Rwanda such as this man who spoke to AFP on condition of anonymity claims the exercise has not been voluntary. I thought that I could not sign this petition, this form, so I pretended to go to the toilet, to the urinals, but then I left completely. I didn't go back. We know lots of people who are fired because they refused the demands of the ruling party. But the ruling party says this is all about the people's will. I think that it will be a big lie to say that there were 3.6 million people who were forced to leave their signatures. If there were errors, we cannot correct them. But it's not the FPR which has committed these errors. The attempts to give President Kagame a third term in office has raised eyebrows in the region, following the acrimonious bid by his Burundian counterpart, Pierre Nkuruziza, for a similar change of the rules. Many Western governments, including the U.S., have voiced their opposition to Kagame's third term bid. But here, many Rwandans appear to be urging their president on. Kagame has done a lot of things for this country. Security is a priority. He has improved access to education. A friend, a brother, a leader. Kagame, who is believed to have been the driving force behind the RPF rebels who ended the genocide in 1994, has resoundedly won the past two elections in 2003 and 2010. His next date with the ballot now appears more likely than ever in 2017. Jogeo, KTN News.